This is an overview of our 14 day Japan rail journey. We were traveling to the four islands of Honshu, Kyushu, Shikoku, and Hokkaido. Before we could get the Japan Rail Pass, we needed to buy the JR Exchange Order in a country outside of Japan. We did this in Perth. Once in Japan, we took our exchange order to the information desk at the Ikebukuro station, but you could do at this at any station. The staff at the information counter then issued us with the Japan Rail Pass with the date that we would start traveling. After a delay at the Tokyo train station, trying to find the platform to make it to Izumo Sunrise, it was a 900 km journey which would take 12 hours, leaving Tokyo at 10pm and arriving at Izumo at 10am. We had reserved the upper bunk beds which came with a blanket and sheet but no pillow. We took a bus for about 30 minutes to Izumo Taisha Shrine which is one of the most famous shrines in Japan. After leaving Izumo Taisha, we went to famous rock at the beach at one of the oldest lighthouse, Hino Misaki, in, in Shimade, Japan. Then we moved to Tamatsukuri Onsen Hot Spring, where we stayed at the night in an onsen hotel. Naish made a big embarrassing mistake. Watch the video to find out. We went to Matsue castle which has a large moat and is very beautiful. There are many old houses in the vicinity. For example, one of the old houses are samurai or buke yashiki. They display old samurai, samurai, samurai tools inside the house so you can see the way they lived back in those times. After that we made the long journey to Hiroshima. The first part was a local train to Okayama and then we transferred to Shinkansen. We arrived at Hiroshima in the early evening and had not yet booked any hotel accommodation which proved to be struggle for the price range we wanted. So we restored to at an internet cafe, which we had tried once before in Nagano. With internet cafes, you don't book in advance, only we you turn up. And we were lucky to get an upgrade to family room. We headed to the atomic bomb dome. We felt really sad what had happened and its history. Unfortunately, the dome was under investigation process, so you can't see it properly with the construction scaffolding covering it. We then caught a train to Miyajima Guchi, a 30 minute journey, and then took a ferry to the island. The ferry took about 10 minutes and we had great views of the big Torley Gate. After arriving, a few dares welcomed us. We then made our way to Kintai Bridge in Iwakuni, Yamaguchi Prefecture. It's a unique historical bridge. The bridge is currently the eighth bridge since the first was originally built. After Kintai Kyo, we took Shinkansen to Hakata, Fukuoka Prefecture. Hakata is known for its night food stores. We explored a couple of them. The food was delicious. We spent the day in Nagasaki after leaving Hakata. We viewed the atomic bomb epicenter along with the Peace Park. We also met a survivor from the bomb who had set up his own little shrine. Then we viewed the 26 Christian Martyrs Memorial, Globus Garden, and then we had Chinese for lunch. We caught the train to Kumamoto to sample the nightlife there. We transferred to Shinkansen and were very impressed by the style of the Kyushu Shinkansen. They were very new stylish wooden chairs. We found a local Kumamoto hostess restaurant down on the side walls of Shotengai, which was basically a baniku restaurant and offered if in several styles. Both of us agreed that this was the best baniku we had ever tasted. 
We caught the Shinkansen from Kimamoto to Kagoshima and then we jumped onto a tram to make our way to Sekulajima Volcano Island. It was a short walk from the tram to the ferry which runs 24 hours every day. The ferry offers great view of Miyajima. Kagoshima is famous for its black pork so we looked for a restaurant in an area famous for black pork. We caught the Shinkansen back up to Kumamoto and then caught the Kyushu overland train to go to across Kyushu. This was a beautiful train journey and well recommended and also offered great views of Mount Aso erupting. We finally arrived at Beppu, the one of the Japanese famous for onsen hot springs. We found a local onsen for 100 yen. It was a traditional style onsen with lovely hot volcanic water. We decided to spend the morning at Bipu Onsen, Bipu Hot Springs. There were steams everywhere in the town. We understood why it's called hell. The hot springs temperature is boiling water of 98 degrees Celsius. The hell has an amazing turquoise-like colour. After that, we went to a historical local onsen to bathe in. We left Kyushu and moved to Okayama, where the express train Nampu departs to Kochi. The train crossed over the Seto Bridge, which used to be the longest bridge in the world. The view of the set straight from the train is awesome. In Kochi, we saw a famous bridge called Harimaya Bashi. Bashi means bridge or the world is not connected, you can say just hashi, hashi. Then we went to the food market popular with both locals and tourists. It is called Hirome Ichiba, means Hirome Market. On the way to Osaka, we decided to do the Okayama City Centre Walk. Okayama is often referred as the gateway to West Japan so it has many affordable restaurants and bars. Again, the journey back to Okayama was spectacular with the highlight being the crossing of Seto Bridge. Okayama is a bit of a quirky city with interesting bits that stand out like the police office at the side of a canal and some of the street clocks. We arrived at Osaka and found some very affordable accommodation. Osaka has a reputation for its food and nightlife. And strolling through the city you can see why there was a real vibrance and energy to the place. We had Osaka Yakitori, it was so delicious and good for you. The following morning we found a place for breakfast. It was a traditional Japanese style of city breakfast which is bordek, coffee and thick piece of toast. We moved from Osaka to Nara. Unfortunately, due to the heavy rain, we cut short our trip in Nara. Firstly, we went to Nara Koen, or Nara Park, where lots of deer were just hanging around waiting to be fed. Then we went to Todaiji Dai Batsudan, Todai Temple Buddha House. It is a famous huge Buddha. There's one big Buddha and two other smaller Buddhas. We moved to Kyoto from Nara. Kyoto station was new and big after we haven't been in Kyoto. We had local Kyoto ramen and then went to down from 11th floor by long escalator. We joined at event of making temari zushi. Temari means Japanese style of small handball. It was a lot of fun and delicious to eat. We went to Kiyomizu Dera, which is Kiyomizu Temple, and Kinkakuji, which is Kinkaku Temple. Kin means gold, and Kaku in this case means palace. So, Gold Palace Temple is Kinkakuji. Uh, Kiyomizu basically means a very clear water. We moved from Kyoto to Kanazawa by express train called Sandabad. It was long wait but comfortable. For dinner we went to Yakiniku restaurant which offered you all can eat. 
both food and beer were very reasonable. Small streets in Kanazawa were really nice as well. We went to a fish market or Miko Ichiba, known as Kanazawa, to find some breakfast. There were lots of fishmongers, other kinds of shops, and sushi stalls. We decided on the Kaiten Sushi, which is a conveyor belt sushi chain style and had high quality fatty tuna. We then made the Mama's journey from Kanaza to Aomori, which is over 1,000 kilometers in total. Luckily, if it would be Shinkansen all the way. We were keen to have local Aomori food for dinner but got distracted and ended up having Kagoshima is a good chain restaurant which was not so nice. We enjoyed wandering the fish market fish markets in Aomori. There were a couple of them. One is Furukawa Market, Furukawa Ichiba. The other one is near the station called Ouga Market. Auga Shinsen Ichiba. There was a big bridge called Rainbow Bridge, which we walked up to both sides and saw great views. We caught a train from Aomori to Hakodate and went under Tsugaru Street, a uh, tunnel underwater. It is Shiteikan Tunnel and said that the tunnel is second longest underwater tunnel. Had Shio Ramen? which is salt broth ramen for lunch, which is famous in Hakodate. Finished the day at Yachigashira Onsen, a fabulous public hot springs. We went to Hakodate Morning Market, Hakodate Asaichi, which has seafood stalls and seafood restaurants everywhere. We had seafood rice bowl for breakfast, which looked appealing, and it was a good price too. You could choose five kinds of seafood on top of the rice. We then made our way on the 470 km journey to Akita. We had booked a nonsense hotel for our last night on the Japan Rail Pass, so we had onsen upon arrival. For dinner, we found a lovely authentic Akita style restaurant which gave us a unique, lovely experience. It was our last day. We planned to spend a few hours visiting Niigata. Niigata is one of the first Shinkansen train stations, and you could tell it was still built in the original style. After a pleasant walk around Niigata, we made our final journey to the little town of Matsoba in Saitama, where we made our final Japan vlog. We hope you enjoyed this overview of our Japan trip and found it informative. And please watch the rest of the videos in the playlist. And don't forget to subscribe to Nige June videos about Japan life and culture.